Jordan Rogers' ex Brittany Farrar calls him a prolific liar and cheater in scathing Instagram rant less than a month after ABC aired his proposal to JoJo Fletcher on The Bachelorette. Jordan's ex girlfriend, personal trainer Brittany Farrar, dragged him on Instagram late Thursday night. Brittany's best friend is Olivia Munn, who is dating Aaron's estranged older brother. Aaron Rodgers, though neither the actress nor the Green Bay Packers quarterback have weighed in. After our breakup, I was surprised to find out what a prolific liar and cheater hashtag Jordan Rodgers was during our entire three-and-a-half-year relationship, Brittany wrote in the caption. But what has surprised me even more is how he has carelessly bashed and lied about me in public. I guess he thought I wouldn't stand up for myself, hashtag he was wrong, wrong, indeed. When I broke up with my ex and gave back his old mattress and chia seeds, that was his ultimatum to me, give me another chance or I want my mattress and the chia I bought back, his lies stopped. Being my problem, Brittany, who is based in Nashville, wrote, until he went on to one of the most popular reality shows on TV and lied about our relationship. That's when I wrote my first post about him, she said. I was hoping that would be the first and last, but then the show ends. Hey, you're finally a winner, and he starts calling me a liar. With the power of a press tour. His lies reached our hometown and my family and friends are now constantly approached by mutual acquaintances. After weeks of this, I started wondering why I feel like I'm the one who should be silent when he was the one who jumped on a reality show hoping to catch fame as a last-ditch attempt to make something of himself. Brittany continued, His choice has become other people's consequences. So if I don't have a choice in whether people back home are talking about me, then I might as well have my voice in this Brittany who scrubbed every trace of her ex from Instagram, said she wanted to tell her side of the story to set the record straight. Unlike Jordan, I'm not going to sell stories to magazines. Instead I'm posting right here. Because to me truth is not about fame, I don't want it. And it's not about money, I can afford to leave some chia behind, she explained. All I want is the same thing that anyone else who's been wronged would want the chance to share the truth. Since the show ended, Jordan has been very busy trying to push out new headlines casting himself in the role of the victim. In every interview, he's talked about cheating rumors being really harsh and very untrue and how hurtful it's been to talk about his family drama, completely ignoring the fact that the world was oblivious to these issues until he put it out there, she claimed. Addressing her ex-boyfriend directly, Brittany asked, you're wondering why there isn't a flood of positivity around your engagement. Maybe it's because your recent fame is built on you tearing down people and rewriting the truth to fit your storyline. Brittany vowed to show some of the proof that she claims Jordan had hidden. Probably because it doesn't fit into the new character he's created. She also promised a two-part post where she would be laying out all out for fans to see. Why speak out now? Because I don't want to do this again, she wrote. Unlike Jordan, I'm not desperate to stay in the spotlight. Brittany also posted a video, which showed a receipt for a large bouquet of roses. According to her Instagram caption, Brittany alleged that Jordan purchased it for the girl he cheated on me with in Louisiana, though she later deleted the video. Brittany claimed Jordan met his alleged other woman while shooting a scene for the musical comedy Pitch Perfect 2. The message that appeared on the receipt appears to read, Happy birthday to my favorite Bella. Miss you. Can't wait to see that beautiful smile again. From your favorite football player wannabe actor, Brittany mocked Jordan's cameo in the movie, saying, He was deep in the background pretending to be one of the Green Bay Packers, the closest he's ever been to making an NFL team. Jordan, you dragged our relationship into the spotlight and then challenged my honesty and character. Brittany said, If you weren't ready to be truthful about your life then you shouldn't have gone on a reality show. And if you don't like having your integrity questioned, you shouldn't have lied about someone whose parents always taught her to stand up for herself. Brittany first attacked Jordan in May, when The Bachelorette premiered, 
Riding the bench doesn't get in the way of a relationship, but cheating does. Hashtag your bitch isn't perfect at J.R. Rogers 11 Hashtag always wanted to be famous Hashtag dreams comma true Hashtag tune in next week for more ebbs She wrote on Instagram Jordan, for his part Later talked to JoJo about the allegations as the season went on Jordan has not responded to Britney's latest claims E! News has reached out to Jordan's rep for comment Weeks ago Jordan told people he had an awful time dealing with all the rumors. It hurts because judgment and integrity are things that you build and try to maintain over a lifetime, he explained. And it just takes one person saying something out of malice that makes news.